Hi, let me show you how to create one of the animated templates from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. This is a template with concept animation. On a click, I show the problem, which is the lock. Then on a click, watch how the key solves the problem. Isn't that beautiful? Let me show that again. On a click, we have the key entering and it teeters and we have this beautiful animation that shows that the lock is opened. This is a simple animation, but in the process of learning how to create this animation, you will learn a whole bunch of creative tricks in PowerPoint that you can use in your next presentation. So watch the video, open up PowerPoint, follow along and let us jump right in. By the way, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. As always, we'll start from a blank slide and the first step is to create this padlock. Let us go to shapes, pick up a simple rectangle tool. Let me draw a rectangle here. You can fill this shape with any color. I'm going to use a simple tan color here. The next step is to create the lock portion. For that, let me go to shapes and then in block arrows, I find this shape here called arrow U-turn. You click on that, then draw the arrow U-turn here. This is the shape we want. Now you might wonder how is this similar to the hook that we have in the padlocks. It's very simple. You click on this yellow handle and then move it all the way down and immediately we have this hook available. Now if you want to adjust the width of this, I can always click on this yellow handle and adjust the width like this. The best part about this shape is one of the legs is longer than the other one so it is perfect for us. I'm going to place this here in such a way that the right edge corresponds with the upper edge of this square. I can always adjust the height to suit my requirement and I can also adjust the width. It is completely up to me and if I want to have the width increased at any point of time I can do that. I can make all kinds of adjustments. Let me place this somewhere over here. I'm going to right click and say send to back. Perfect. Now we've got the padlock ready. The next step is to label this as the problem. So I'm going to use the text that I had already written here. Let me press control C, come back to my original side and press control V and we have got our label ready. The next step is to insert the key into the padlock. So where do we find the key? Once again, let us go to pixabay.com and let us search for the vector image of a key. So I've got key written here and I've chosen vectors among the various options. And let us go down and see what kind of options are available here. There are a whole range of options. I'm just going to settle with this very simple option that I see here. Let me download this as either a PNG image or SVG image, it doesn't really matter. Let me choose SVG image and I've got that downloaded. Let me paste that onto my slide and here we have the image. Let me rotate this to the right so it is vertical. So let us go to rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees. Perfect and I'm going to place this over here. Now naturally I need to send this to back. Now the next step is to add the label for the key. So let me go back to the previous page and I'm going to take this text here. I can also take this arrow. Let me press Ctrl C. Come back to our slide and press Ctrl V. Now we've got our image in place. The next step is to add the relevant animation. Here is where the fun starts. First, let me have this and this appear on the scene. So let us go to Animations tab and then add a simple appear animation. And let us go to Animation Pane so you can see what I'm doing here. Right after that, we are going to have this text animate with a simple wipe animation from left and this is going to be after previous. So when I play here, you can see that this is how the problem is introduced into the scene. The next step is we are going to have this key enter the scene. This key is going to float in. So you can go to float in animation. That is how the key floats in. And right after it floats in, it also needs to teeter. So let us go to add animation. Since we've already got one animation on this, we need to add the second animation and the second animation is teeter. So you can see that that is how it teeters and this happens after previous. So let us select and play this animation. It enters and then it teeters. So that mimics the action of 
this key trying to open the padlock. Now, right after the key is plugged in, we need to have this lock open. For that, we are going to add a motion path animation. Since we already have an appear animation applied to this earlier, we need to go to add animation option and we need to use a simple motion path called lines and that is the animation. By default, the direction of the motion path animation is to down. So we are going to change that to up and this is how the movement happens. Now I'm going to select this and then click on the end point here. And I want the end point in such a way while holding the shift button down, I can have this left portion correspond. So this is just this much distance. Let me just play this animation. I'm going to select this and say play from and watch this is the animation. Now I'm going to have this banner sent to back so you can clearly see this animation clearly. So this is the distance to which this hook moves. Now this in itself is not very interesting. We need to add a little bit of spice to this. So let us select the same piece here. Let us go to effect options and add a bit of bounce end. I'm going to move this somewhere to the center and say OK. And I'm going to have this movement happen a little bit faster, maybe around 0.5 seconds. So both these effects are added to this and this happens right after previous. That is after this key comes in and teeters, we are going to have this move out quickly and then with a bit of bounce end. So let us watch just this piece here from here. So enters, teeters and you can see that the lock opens. Beautiful, right? Now naturally right after that we are going to have the label happen. So this needs to label. So we are going to have this as wipe from left and right after that we are going to have this also wipe from left. So this happens after previous and right after that it happens after previous. So after this lock opens, we are going to have this wipe in and then we are going to have this text wipe in. So that is the whole set of animations. When I go to slideshow, you can see the whole thing unfurl. On a click, I introduce the problem. And after I discuss what the problem is, I click and here we have the key which opens up the lock and we will have our text written here. Isn't that beautiful? It's a simple analogy and it can have a lot of practical applications in your business presentations. Now talking about visualizing the idea of problem and solution, you can use animations in various levels. If you want to go with the most basic of animations, you can use something like this where you talk about the issue and then on a click you talk about the solution. If you want to make it slightly complex, you can go to something like this where we introduce the problem first like this. Then we talk about the key to the problem like this and then we show the after scenario like this. And an advanced version of this is what I had shown you just now where we have the problem and we have the solution and the key to the solution is what is shown here. And if you want to take the same idea to the next level, we can use something like this. Here we talk about trying three different options to solve the problem. First, we talk about the first idea and see that we have not been able to open the lock and this is our failed response one. Then we try another idea and see if it works and it doesn't and this is our failed response two. And finally we have the winning idea and you can see that the lock is open and this is our successful response. So there are different ways you can animate the same idea. All it requires is a bit of creativity. If you don't have the time to create all these animations yourself, then we have all these interesting templates available in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint templates bundle. In fact, the bundle is a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you tell your story in the most engaging way possible. If you are a professional who needs to make presentations as part of your profession and you want your slides to be engaging right from the word go, then comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle can be a very useful solution for you. The link to this product is in the description box below the video. If you want to watch another tutorial that shows you how to create concept animations using PowerPoint, we have a link right now shown. You click on that link and watch that video and learn another interesting technique of using custom animation in an engaging way. 
If you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas 5 days free email mini training where I share 25 useful PowerPoint ideas that I have not shared elsewhere you can click on the link that you see right now on your screen and join the course I'll see you inside the course